Alright, this is second grade module 6 lesson 16 and in this lesson students are going to continue practicing uh, and developing their spatial visualization skills. They're going to be drawing, they're going to be taking a picture and matching it in an, in a, an adjoining grid next door. And the whole point is this is just a, a fun opportunity for students to fall in love with math while they study something that we don't often study, which is spatial visualization. The idea to see things in your mind's eye and be able to put it on paper. So let's get started. So here we're asked to create a copy of the design in the empty grid. And really, this is not all that fancy, it's, um, but it's a little tricky because the students are going to be looking at this figure and they want to recreate it over here in the same location. So it's kind of tricky and let your students have the opportunity to just practice. And if they get it wrong, that's perfectly fine. We don't need to correct them. This is not a big deal. It's just a great opportunity for students to practice spatial visualization. So what I see here is I'm going to go down two and over three and that's kind of where I'm going to start. Or I could go over three and down two, you know, it's however I want to think about it. Um, Let's see, and then that's where I'm going to start, and I can see that it looks like it's going to be four squares to the right, and then here's two squares, and then here's two squares, and then it looks like we're back to that four squares, so that's, that's how I'm going to do it. Is that the only way to um, go about recreating this figure? No, there's other ways we could have done it, but we want all students to end up with this figure like that. This, more of the same, just a little trickier. Uh, parents and teachers, I'm going to let you guys deal with that right here. You can do it. Uh, but the idea is, you, some parents and teachers might be thinking, well, why are we doing this? And the idea is we really want to help students develop that spatial visualization, the, the, the ability to look at an object and see it in your mind's eye over here. Specifically, if you want to think about, oh, like composite figures in third or fourth grade, uh, students are going to be asked to look at a figure and be able to cut it into composite parts. So what I mean by that is, in this case, I might cut it into three rectangles. One rectangle is one row of four. That's right here. Another rectangle might be two rows of two, so that's actually a square. And then another rectangle, one row of four. So composite figures is something that our students are going to be doing in third grade. So this lesson begins that process of helping students develop spatial visualization. So here students are being asked to use two colored pencils to create a design that we're then going to just kind of recreate over and over and over over here, right? And we're going to tessellate it. A tessellation is a shape that repeats over and over, leaving no gaps and has no overlaps. So we're going to create a design, and it this is just an opportunity for your students to just go wild and let them really get crazy as they think about what should their design look like. And I don't know, I'm just kind of creating one right here. Let's see. Oh, I'll do a red and a red. Oh, let's do a red and a red. Oh, you know what? Let's do and then a red and a red here. There we go. So there is a really cool figure. All right. Now the idea is we're supposed to have it uh, tessellate. And so what that means is um, we're going to, we want, let's see, I want another pen. Yeah, there you go. And so we want it to tessellate right here, right here, and then repeat it right here, and then repeat it right here, and then repeat it right here. So we want it to repeat all the way across. And so what we're going to do is repeat it, and I'm going to speed things <laughs> along a little bit if you don't mind. Um, but then we're just going to keep repeating, and then we're going to keep repeating. Now, your students, we want them to kind of do it the slow way, 
because we want them to actually do, enjoy the drawing and have fun with the drawing. And there we go. And then, of course, now we want to tessellate downward as well. So I'm going to take all of those and I'm just going to recreate them right here. Look at that. And then I'm going to tessellate that again. So I'm going to take all those and I'm going to repeat all those again. And I'm really going to allow my students to have fun. And when you do that, look at that. That's really kind of a cool design. I could see that, I don't know, on the wall in a restaurant or on the wall on those fancy bathroom floors. You know, that's really kind of a cool tessellation. And that wraps up. Second grade, module six, lesson 16. Students are having fun using grid paper, developing their spatial visualization, inventing some really cool designs.